Are you struggling to reshape tensors in TensorFlow like you do in NumPy? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to reshape tensors in Fortran order, just like you would with NumPy. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you expect your code to work seamlessly, but it just doesn't. Many users have faced similar issues when transitioning from NumPy to TensorFlow. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I reshape a tensor in TensorFlow to match Fortran order, similar to NumPy's reshape function? They were trying to reshape CIFAR images from a vector of shape 37 2 by 1 to 32 by 32 by 3, but ended up with unexpected results. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the issue here? TensorFlow's default behavior is to reshape tensors in row major order, which can lead to unexpected layouts when you're used to Fortran's column major order. Understanding this difference is key to solving the problem. And stick around. I have a neat workaround that will help you achieve the desired shape in TensorFlow, and it's coming up soon. To reshape a tensor in TensorFlow using Fortran order, the user can start by reshaping the tensor to the desired dimensions. In this case, the user should reshape the tensor to three dimensions, 3, 32, and 32. Next, the user needs to transpose the reshaped tensor. This step is crucial because it will rearrange the dimensions to match the Fortran order, which is column major. After transposing, the user should verify the shape of the final tensor. This ensures that the tensor is now in the correct format for further processing or visualization. Finally, the user can visualize the reshaped and transposed tensor to confirm that the images appear correctly. This can be done using a library like Matplotlib. Fun fact, did you know that Fortran was one of the first high-level programming languages? It's still used today, especially in scientific computing. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user points out that TensorFlow does not directly support Fortran or column major ordering for reshaping tensors. However, they offer a straightforward solution by combining reshape with transpose. They demonstrate this first with NumPy, showing how to reshape an array in Fortran order and then transpose it to achieve the desired layout. They then provide the equivalent TensorFlow code which involves reshaping the input and then transposing the result. Here's a pro tip. Always remember to check the order of your data when switching between libraries like NumPy and TensorFlow. It can save you a lot of headaches. And there you have it. You should now be able to reshape your tensors in TensorFlow just like you do in NumPy. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.